Tom, I think that's going on right now as they go to open up that capsule. We were taking bets on who would exit first. Tom, who went in first? I think Jeff Bezos went in first, so I'm pretty sure that Mr. Bezos is going to be first out. Did they come out and say, I'm going to Disneyland? I mean, is that part of the... I don't think this is the Super Bowl, Tom. Tom, this is not the Super Bowl. (laughs) (laughs) Or the way some people have delivered the coverage of this, you'd expect it to be just as large. It's the what next of this, Tom. It's the what next of this. This was the first time for this company. What next? Craig, let's go. uh, Chad, let's go. Excuse me. Chad, let's go to you quickly here. What is the next here that you observe? I mean, there's going to be more of these flights. They've got more lined up. And interestingly, I mean, it's going to see, it's going to be interesting to see where they price this thing, how many people are going. We know that 7,500 people put in bids in this auction, paying up to 28 million. And there was thousands of people who paid, you know, any variation. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And so it'll be interesting to see where they right. end up, how Virgin responds and yeah. where Blue Origin goes next. John, let's describe the scene for radio here. We've got a mic up like they use for us on Bloomberg surveillance to be yep. sure they... Get a bit of tone, but uh, certainly a different scene than anything I've seen from NASA before, John. I can count one, two, three, four individuals working on opening up that capsule, Tom. It's going to take a couple of moments, I think. You can just about see Jeff Bezos inside the capsule, waving around and giving a thumbs up as we wait for that to open up. I want to bring in our colleague, Emily Chang, as we await this moment. Emily, your thoughts on what's developed in the past hour? John, Tom, I mean, we all have covered a lot of stories in our lives. Uh, Some of them are more memorable than others. I have to say this is one for the history books. This is, uh, it's hard not to get caught up in the energy and the history of this moment. I mean, it's one small step for Jeff Bezos, perhaps one giant leap for uh, space tourism and space exploration. And the vision that Bezos has articulated goes so far beyond just people having a joy ride in space. He is talking, has talked about building this road uh, to space, the infrastructure that other entrepreneurs can build on. He's talked about the fact that when he started Amazon, um, you know, he didn't have to start uh, new credit card systems. All of that was in place. We had a mail service that could deliver packages to you. Space, however, is much more undiscovered. Uh, there is no infrastructure. He wants to build that infrastructure. So uh, space entrepreneurs of the future can build a whole new generation of, of Amazons out mm-hmm. there. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see what he has to say uh, as he steps off this flight and whether or not the experience has changed him or this vision at all. Um, but, it, it, you know, obviously this is a suborbital flight. Uh, Blue Origin working on orbital flights with the new Glenn. Uh, that will be their next big project. Uh, we spoke to a lead designer who said they're on track for that to be done uh, before the end of next year year. So who knows? Jeff Bezos could be up there again on an orbital flight. I believe that hatch door is about to open any moment now to see who comes out of that capsule first. The astronauts inside are standing up. They're standing up, Tom, as we await that door to open, perhaps in the next couple of seconds. They're going to descend down, uh, uh, John, and, you know, it's going to be a great moment. The stairs, John, frankly, look like the ones we have for the Gulf Stream. The hatch door has opened to the capsule, Tom. Exiting first is Jeff Bezos donning that cowboy hat that he's been wearing over the last week or so, Tom. After him, the first teenager, the first human flight, the youngest ever astronaut there, Tom. And there you go. Tom, we keep talking about this moment. For the 